Hi friends, welcome back to the course on Random Vibration. Today, we will look into a very fundamental concepts in the theory of probability because I believe it is indispensable towards the study of random vibration and appreciating the concepts that we see down the line. Let's start off the discussion with seeing what is a random variable. It's quite unfortunate that random variables are called the way <coughs> they are. Actually, random variables are not variables. They are actually functions. Simply, they can be thought of as functions or mappings which are defined from the sample space to the set of real numbers. So, if you have forgot what is a sample space, sample space is essentially the set of all possible outcomes. To give you a simple example, you toss a coin your sample space will contain heads as well as tails. Make sense? So it, it is the collection of all outcomes. Now, a random variable is a function which is defined from this sample space to the set of real numbers. Let's see an example. Let's say I have two dice as shown over here. Now I'm defining my random variable like this. The random variable is denoted or is described as the sum of the two numbers that turns up. For this particular experiment, let's say I'm tossing these two dice so that that will be my experiment. For this particular experiment, this is my sample space, the set of all possible outcomes. Anything, anything in this particular set can be an outcome. So this is my sample space S. And these are my individual outcomes now what I said to you a minute earlier was that I can define a function from this sample space to the set of real numbers let's see so if I want to define my real random variable or if I want to find my random variable corresponding to the outcome 1 comma 1 which denotes when I toast the dice 1 I get a 1 and when I toast the dice 2 then also I get 1 so corresponding to that particular outcome in the sample space my random va variable will assume a value of 2 and corresponding to the outcome 5 comma 6 my random variable will assume a value of 11 so I hope now you understood random variables are basically functions that are defined from the sample space now what is a random process before I get into the examples and the explanation part of things, let me give you the formal definition for a random process. A random process is a collection of random variables, one for each time instant under consideration. This is the formal definition. So we know what is a random variable that we have already seen. So random process is a collection of random variables basically. Now let's look at an example say this is my car it's a hypothetical situation let's say i'm driving this particular vehicle every day from my home to office and what i'm interested in is the displacement felt by this particular wheels let's say or uh, the maximum of the displacement felt by both of the wheels is a parameter that i want to study that will help me in designing this particular vehicle for much better passenger comfort so that is my experiment i have defined my experiment in fact this particular experiment should be also looked at as a similar example to that of tossing a dice or tossing a coin so in this particular figure i have shown my observations on three consecutive days so I drive my car from my home to the office on three consecutive days over the same road th through the same route and I measure the displacement the wheel feels so the first day the plot looks something like this and the second day it looks something like this and third day it looks, looks like this see why is it random it is random because there are a lot of variables that are influencing the process 
so whenever you run into situations when there are a lot of dependent variables and we can't really figure out how all these independent variables are playing together then we will run into processes like random process here for example the tire pressure on that day and the number of people that are traveling with me in the car all these things are variables that will influence the displacement of the wheel that's where you can see the behavior is totally random one more thing i'm not sure about what kind of a path this particular curve will take the next day i'm unsure of it even i'm unsure of what value it takes for a given realization or a given sample function what value it takes at a another instant of time i'm unknown i don't have an explicit explicit description for this particular displacement in terms of time makes sense now let's see where are the random variables in this the same three curves that i have shown you a minute earlier but now i have drawn some vertical lines corresponding to certain distinct time instants let's say t1 t2 and t3 and this particular line actually denotes a random variable similarly this particular vertical line denotes another random variable and this line corresponds to another random variable like this we can have an n number of random variables which are indexed by the time they are assuming different values in each of your n uh, sample functions or in, in each of your n sample they are assuming a different value now the question is using probability can i figure out what kind of a probability distribution can fit in to each of these random variables and can i make some judgment or can i make some engineering judgment by seeing that the average displacement the wheels will experience is only this much so i should design it accordingly that's the outcome that's something i need to tell my designer uh, you introduce this kind of damping because this is the expected roughness of the road this is the outcome that we have want to get out of this analysis for better understanding you can always compare a random variable with a random process this is an, an example you, i i don't have any uh, real life examples to um, give you in this particular segment but this is simply uh, for your better understanding i will be using a hypothetical example so you know what is a random variable already a random variable can be defined from a random event by assigning values to each possible outcome if you have forgot what does this word event means an event is a subset of the sample space so a random variable can be also defined from an event see but the key difference when you come to when we come to a random process is that random process is a function of both time and event so you are assigning to each outcome a function in time for example let's say you are rolling a dice then your sample space is something like 1 2 3 4 5 6 so this is the random variable you are defining let's say whatever number comes on the number turns up on the dice top face that will be treated as the that will be equal to the random number the, it, it will be equal to the random variable i mean now let's say i'm defining a function which is a, which is a function of both the random variable as well as the or, or the i would say it is a not a function of random variable it's a function of the event as well as function of time something like this so every outcome you have a different function in terms of time so this is just an example that you can think of the uh, but in a nutshell random variables are functions defined from the sample space to the set of real numbers and a random process is a collection of random variables that are 
in text with respect to time. Make sense? Thanks for watching.